I was living in Kasese, Uganda, and after having spent the day at the park with my roommate, we found ourselves riding back at night time with our friend and guide at the wheel of his Land Rover. On our way, we passed many dead animals in the roads, like birds, goats, cob, roadkill, just everywhere. As we got near the town, we passed what looked like a person on the side of the road. After a few moments of panicking and pleading, we managed to convince the driver to turn round. When we arrived, we discovered that it was in fact a young boy, maybe five or six years old. He appeared to have been hit by a car, then left there on the side of the road to die. Furthermore, he had soiled himself and curled up into a ball. We rolled down our windows, flashed our lights on him, yelled at him, but never got any response. Suddenly, one of my roommates tries to open his door to grab the boy, but as soon as he did, the driver took off and he was forced back into the car. We were chastised by the driver for attempting to exit the car at night time, as close as we were to the DRC. He said that the whole thing could have been a trap. We tried to figure out if there was an emergency medical service or police service, but we were told that these things did not exist when it was dark. I have never felt so helpless or worthless in all my life to see something like that and be completely unable to help or do anything. It was one of the worst moments in my life. Apparently some people in poorer regions of the world have no problem using children as kidnapping bait or as sources of income through things like prostitution or panhandling. It's unfortunate, but it happens.